One of the most expensive cars you can have today is your grocery cart in the supermarket. <laughs> one viewer said that in one of the comments, and I said, I got to use that on an intro. I said, I thought that was great. That's true. Could you imagine your average car payment is $750? And, um, and everybody spends more than 750 bucks. It's a busy day today. Everybody spends more than 750 bucks on groceries. My gosh, I know people that spend four or five hundred dollars every week. That's two thousand dollars. Holy smolies! And um, you know, my car has 180 thousand miles on it. And I told my wife, I said, you know what? The car's paid off finally. And I said, I'm going to drive that car until the doors fall off. When the doors do fall off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt them out and crawl in through the window. I said, I'm not having another car payment. No way. That's too much money. Anyways, we're in front of all these right here. It's a new store. We're going to go in there. We're going to check prices. Let's have some fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, hon. My wife dropped me off at Aldi while I go in there and do some shopping. But you know what? I forgot my quarter. <laughs> I had to wait for her to turn around and, and drop off a quarter so I can go in there shopping. Otherwise, I have to carry everything. Anyways, uh, let's head in here, rent our shopping cart. Let's have some fun. This is a nice brand new Aldi. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Look at all the brickwork. Look at all the, the stainless steel or aluminum on here. Just gorgeous. Oh, look at this. It's gorgeous in here. Look at that for an Aldi, I tell you. Really nice. I like it. Where shall we go today? Let's look at these guys right off the bat. Spaghetti squash, 69 cents a pound. Not bad, butternut squash, 69 cents a pound. Oh my gosh! I hope my wife comes back and we can uh, we can walk around here and uh, maybe we can get some stuff. Tomatoes here, 249. This is the cheapest I've seen these tomatoes, these little cherry tomatoes. That's pretty good right there. 299 for your mandarins. They're a little small, but this is this is a good price compared to anywhere else you go. Three pounds of mandarin for three dollars. That's a dollar a pound. That's pretty good right there. Bartlett pears, two ninety nine. These look nice. These actually look really nice. And you get you get two you get three pounds. You get three pounds of Bartlett pears for three dollars. Another dollar a pound. Another bargain. I like it. Oh, here's some of these peppers. And um, I bought one of these before the mild banana pepper rings at two twenty nine. That's a really good price for these guys. And these were delicious. I think they're better than the pepperoncini. All the vinegar in there, really nice. I like these two twenty nine. That's not bad compared to going to Walmart. And the artichoke hearts two nineteen. This is a good price on the artichoke hearts. Two dollars and nineteen cents. That's not bad at all. Then your olives here. The canned olives, $1.75 for the large olives. Very nice. And look at $1.59 for these olives, Spanish. Uh, whatever olives, I get uh, pimento stuff. How's that? Oh, and here's their iceberg lettuce, but they don't they don't keep it on ice. It's cold though, it's a buck sixty-nine, and your celery is is ninety-five cents. That's one heck of a good price, but you gotta look at that. That's a lot right here. That's a really good deal here. 95 cents. That's the best I've ever seen on celery no doubt about it and oh this is cabbage 79 cents it, this is an average price they're tiny heads though my parrot loves this stuff but 79 cents a pound you look at this acorn squash is 69 cents a pound this looks good you want to cut this thing in half this is what i do cut it in half and you put in your brown sugar and butter and put it in the oven it's just delicious and what else Here's your butternut squash, 69 cents. Was that what I looked at at first? But this is really nice. Oh my gosh. All these prices are pretty good, I think. $1.45 for zucchini. And what else do they have? These avocados, these green skin avocados are $1.89 each. I don't know why they're so expensive. I, I, ha I have no idea. They look like they're waxed. Look at that. Buck 89 and your yellow squash, $1.45. But you get two of them. Holy cow, that's oh that's per pound. That's per pound but 45. That looks they look really good though. My wife wanted me to get some blueberries, but they're $4.99 for a small container. And the raspberries are $2.49. And um, we got the blackberries, $2.29. So I'm gonna get one of these. And the strawberries are $3.99, not a bargain there. Cauliflower, $2.79. Grapes are $2.35 a pound. So that's about average, because three pounds is seven dollars at uh, Sam's and here's some big grapes here $5.99 for two pounds so the grapes are a little high there's some $7.99 for a 
a medley of colors for the grapes. So grapes are not cheap. Green onions are 85 cents right here. And this is the cheapest I've seen asparagus, $2.99, and it doesn't look bad at all. And some melon, $3.29. Uh, pineapple, $3.50. Brussels sprouts, $2.39 for that big bag. That's not bad. And $1.39 for radishes a pound. You'll never find it. You'll never find it for that price anywhere. Portobello mushrooms, $2.49 for these two guys. I think that's a bargain. This is a real bargain. $2.49 for your portobellas. Cucumbers, $0.69. Cents. That's an average price anywhere. Regular mushrooms here are $1.29. Look at that, $1.29 for these. This is a bargain. I'm finding a lot of bargains today. Pretty happy about that. And just your regular packages of lettuce, a buck forty-nine. Spinach, a dollar forty-nine for that. Oh geez. Here's your green leaf lettuce, two twenty-nine. This looks good. And, and this is refrigerated here. Romaine hearts, two sixty-nine for three of them. Three romaine hearts, two sixty-nine. Let's check out the avocados, sixty-five cents for one of these guys. Not bad. And a package is two fifty-nine. <laughs> That would be double at Walmart. And the Roma tomatoes, finally found them under a dollar. 89 cents for Roma tomatoes, and they all look good. That's more like it. $2.29 for some of these. That's not bad compared to what I've seen at other places. I'm finding a lot of bargains today. $2.49 for these guys right there. I'm finding bargains today. I kind of like it. Bananas are 70, organic bananas, 71 cents a pound. That's pretty good right there. I'm seeing a lot of good prices right here. The Roma tomatoes finally under a dollar. Can you imagine that? Unbelievable. I like it. Oh, and they have the split top wheat bread, a buck twenty-nine. And where's your white bread? Where's the white bread? I know it's a dollar, dollar twenty-nine for the white bread right here. A buck twenty-nine for the the classic white bread right here. Twenty ounces. I'm gonna get one of these guys. A buck twenty-nine for that. A buck twenty-nine for the hamburger buns. This is really, what a good price. And I know a lot of people say, oh, don't buy the white stuff, but $1.29. A lot of people on fixed incomes, they can't afford that. Then your brioche are $3.99. I wouldn't buy brioche. I don't care what the price is. At Walmart, they're, they're $4.99, which is, I believe, a ripoff. I just, I, I don't care for brioche. But this is a good price, $1.29 for your hot dog and hamburger buns. No doubt about it. Here's some of your spaghetti sauce, and here's, I don't know what this is, but it's it's $3.89 in your Rayos here. Look at that, $6.88. That's a normal price at any store. Well, Publix, it's probably $2 more. And here's some right here for $2.09, $1.55, $1 $1.55. Here's some of your Parmesan cheese, $2.95 for one of these guys. I don't know what this is at Walmart. I need to price it, but I bet it's a lot more there. Oh, here's some lasagna right there. Noodles, one sixty-five. Angel hair fettuccine, and you get two pounds of this for a dollar ninety-six. So that's that's a dollar a pound. That's about the same as the the Great Value brand right there. Now, one thing I've noticed that isn't cheap anywhere is your your thick-cut pepperoni. But you get a pound of it, and it's five ninety-nine for this. I, you know, I just don't like anything that's not refrigerated. This is full of uh, sodium nitrate here, just to keep it uh, preserved. It's it's full of sodium nitrite, BHA, BHT, citric acid, six dollars. Oh, here's some pepperoni, two forty-nine. Finally, you get some affordable. But I can't stand stuff that's. Could you imagine buying meat that's not refrigerated? Oh, and the Campbell's soup is a dollar. Cream of mushroom is a dollar for this. The can of liquid salt. There's some for sixty-seven cents right here. What is this? Sixty-seven cents for cream of mushroom. That's then the that's the off-brand there. Holy cow. See, good prices here. Oh, here's something. Look at this German-style sauerkraut, $1.59. This is $1.59. This isn't bad. I mean, I really like this stuff with uh, with kielbasa. But, I mean, my gosh, a pound and a half of this in a jar is $1.59. That's really good. And here's some of the pancake mix. Hungry Jack, $2.59. And here's some Millville, which is a good brand. A uh, dollar ninety-five, and some of this maple syrup. I showed this last time. It's still on sale, five forty-nine for twelve ounces. That's really good. That's a good price. Millville syrup here. This is high fructose corn syrup, two thirty-five. 
and this is like uh, Butterworth's 235 for that. Millville, you can tell which everybody buys this stuff. Very few people buy this. You can see it back there. Here's the cereal prices. If you buy the Cocoa Pebbles, the name brand, 409. If you buy the off brand, 329. Cocoa Puffs here, $1.95. The Fruit and Rounds, $1.68. Honey wheat 209, that's a good price. Honey grams 225. Then you get to the name brand 441. Off brand 225, almost double the price for this stuff. Cinnamon crunch squares 279. Shredded wheat <laughs> off brand. The boxes are crushed, but it's 209. Crispy rice, look at that. Big box $1.95. Frosted flakes family size. Millville 329 for the guys. And here's the Honey Nut Cheerios, 472, 472 versus 265 for the Millville. You can see the difference. Raisin Brand, 269 for the Millville. That's a deal there. I don't see any regular Raisin Brand, but here's Corn Flakes, 219. They're not the Frosted Flakes. Bran Flakes, 259 Millville. That's a deal right there. See if you want to shop, you come come to Aldi and and get the Millville. Why not? You got to save some money somewhere. Their milk here, whole milk is two eighty five a gallon for the whole milk, and their eggs are dollar a dollar twenty eight for the dozen large eggs, and that's all we ever buy are the dozen. And uh, my wife likes the brown though, so you know you got to go with the brown. And if you go with the cage free brown, you see three ninety three for a dozen, two fifty eight. And a half gallon of milk is a dollar sixty three. That's not bad right there. What's four sixty nine? Oh, that's the whipping cream. Four sixty nine for that. Here's some of the uh, orange juice prices a gallon of this stuff. Oh, that's that's fifty two ounces is three twenty nine. Here's three twenty nine for this. Three twenty nine for this. Five thirty nine for this guy. Oh, that's a little bit. Oh, simply simply nature. See name brand. You're gonna pay more. Look at the difference. Name brand. Non name brand. You're gonna pay a lot more. Here's non-name brand right there, 329. Oh, that's 635 for the gallon right there. And 339 for this, that's with mango. But see, if you buy the name brand, you're gonna pay a lot more than you would for the off brand, that's for sure. I wanted to check out their uh, their onion dip and their and these are branded. And this is my favorite sour cream. This is a good price here. One pound is 235 for Daisy. Use a dollop of Daisy. I like the light. And here's the regular 235. And here's the hell of a good dip. Look at the size of this one. 24 ounces, 369. Try and get this at Walmart. You're never gonna get it. This is really good when you dip the chips in it, watching the uh, watching football on a Sunday. That's not bad right there. And this is really good stuff. When they say hell of a good dip, it is good. Let's check out the bacon and hot dogs for $4.99 for the bacon here. For that $4.99, $7.49 for a pound and a half, and some of this stuff, peppered bacon, $7.49, $4.25, see, $4.25, it's just not that cheap, and your Nathan hot dogs, bun length, $4.89, organic uncured, $4.99, oh, here's some cheap stuff here, Jumbo Franks, $1.29 for that, $3.29 for these guys. $12.99 for something down there and regular dogs here. These are 99 cents. Try your luck. <laughs> 99 cents pork sausage is $2.29 for the pork sausage right here. $2.29 for the pork sausage. Hot and regular. That's not bad. It's half fat by the time you fry it up, but it's only $2.29. And here's the two liters of Coke, $1.96. Cheaper than Walmart and absolutely cheaper than Publix. And the 12 pack of Coke is $6.48 here. Name brand and just your regular cola is $3.99. Oh my gosh. And it's, you know, this is all a high fructose corn syrup. And here's the Diet Cola, $3.99. They have it the same color as regular Coke. <laughs> they try to disguise it. Then you come into the uh, other stuff here, the two liters, $1.15 for that guy. And um, there's, like I said, there's the, the Coke, $6.48 for the. Uh, the 12 pack of the coke let's look at some of the meat and check the meats out here italian sausage 339 339 349 three this is 399 for these guys how much for the pork loin half a dollar dollar 89 a pound six dollars and seven cents for this that's not bad 
how much for the half butt pork roast, $2.99 a pound. What else do they have here? Let's look at the hamburger. Price is Mark 724. It's $5.89 a pound. Here's stuff for $6.19. You're not going to get a deal on any hamburger no matter where you go. It looks really good though. That looks really good. Stay there, guy. And here's your organic beef, $5.99. This is a good deal right there. What else do they have? They don't have much for steaks here. Oh, top sirloin steak, $7.99. A pound right there. This actually looks really good. That's a good looking steak and the ribeyes are $13.99. Ah, not very cheap are they? Let me see, this one is $13.99 a pound. This whole steak is $18. Holy cow! That's a fatty looking steak. A little pricey. Thin sliced ribeye steak, $8.99. Boneless chicken, chicken leg quarters, $1.19 a pound chicken leg quarters right here 546 and I like chicken leg quarters not bad chicken drumsticks are how much a uh, dollar 99 a pound that's pricey for Aldi and your here's your chicken breast 229 a pound on sale now that's a really good deal right there that's a good deal chicken wings are how much here 289 a pound not a bargain not stay there guy but they have a ton of chicken here. Let's what the look at the tenderloins. $3.99 a pound for chicken breast tenderloins. That's probably your better price. Similar to Sam's. I mean, it's not bad here. They do have a really good selection of uh, producer. I mean, not produce, but but uh, chicken, beef, and your pork here. No, oh, I missed the fish right here. Lightly smoked salmon. I'll, I'll look at that later. Atlantic salmon here, $10.99 a pound. And here's some of the smoked salmon. Come on, oh, it's, all, it's all sliding down. I gotta look at this before it falls down. Ten ninety nine a pound. Ten ninety nine. And stay there, guy. Tilapia fillets, six seventy nine. Steelhead trout, eleven twenty nine. Pacific cod, nine ninety nine. What else do they have? Oh, they have the whole side right here, eight ninety nine. Fresh, never frozen. Fresh Never Frozen, $10.99. Coho Salmon, $10.99. That looks really good. Product of chili, but you know, what are you going to do? Norwegian Atlantic Salmon, $10.99. There's your prices on seafood, and this is their whole selection right there. It's not too bad. Here's some of the olive oils. Oh, grapeseed oil. Look at that. not bad. $4.49. And avocado oil, 565. That's about average. This has a high smoke point, 500 degrees. That's what we use. Here's some Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. You hear that? That's real glass. It's probably not bad. Organic, simply olive oil right here, 579, 509. Here's some olive oil blend, 419. I don't think that's a bargain. But uh, those are those aren't bad prices. Then all your spices right here, and they're all 99 cents, 99 cents, 99 cents. Minced the garlic, 225 for that. I like this vanilla extract, 349. My wife's friend was asking us if we had any in the cupboard, and I said it might be 10 years old, but 349 right there. Pepper grinders, salt grinders, a dollar 89, and one and a container of salt right here, 64 cents. That beats Walmart and Publix absolutely. Let's check out some of the power bars, $5.69. These are never cheap. This is probably the cheapest you're going to find the guys, $4.99. $5.99 for these guys, $4.99 for these. Here's your, your shakes right here, your protein shakes, $7.15. And a four pack, $6.59. Like I said, these are never cheap. Protein bars here, $5.49. $2.79 for these. They're kind of, these are. These, I forgot the name of that brand, but these look like the, um, I forgot the name of that. But you know, they look at 279. This doesn't look too bad. I like this. That's not bad at all. Here's an energy bar, 539. Protein bars right here. Oh, look at these, 279. 459 for these. Millville, 215 for these guys. 215, that's the best bargain I've seen. Next to a buck 99 for these guys, sweet and salty. Right here, cashew. This is, oh, that's cashew right there. $1.99 for the guy. And you get how many ounces you get in there? Seven ounces. That's not bad right there. Here's all your different juices right here. Apple juice, $1.89. That's good for marinating stuff. $1.89. It's good to drink too. And here's organic apple juice, $2.79. 
simply nature and here's some cranberry juice I do like cranberry juice 229 for that and here's a mixture of, of white grape and regular grape 295 for that and here's some mango passion fruit 319 for that and let's look Capri Sun here. I know, <laughs> I, I used to grow, I grew up on stuff like this. 10 pouches, look at that, this is heavy here. 60 ounces, 2.98 for that. Try and get that at Walmart, or even Publix, it would be double. 2.98 for one of the guys. They don't have much for coffee here. And they have, someone said that this was really high octane coffee, which means it's high in caffeine. 5.19 for decaf, who would drink decaf? Uh, classic Rose 519, freeze dried 668, 369 for instant right there. And there's some uh, half and half Arizona tea 548 for the 12 pack, 548 for the 12 pack. And here's some lemon juice concentrate 219. That's a that's a bargain there compared to Walmart, no doubt. Unsweetened tea here 559. I think it's a name brand. That's a little pricey. Lipton tea right here, black tea, 209. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. This would be a dollar more at Walmart and two dollars more at Publix. Let's check out some of the snacks. Here's the uh, seasoned pretzels, a dollar ninety-nine right here, and your and your other pretzels right there. Mini twist, a dollar ninety-eight. Cheddar cheese, corn, two thirty-nine. And here, this is a little pricey, but you get a lot in here. Honey wheat pretzels, five forty-nine. I don't see these. Oh, peanut butter filled, four seventy nine. Your your twelve bags of theater popcorn. That's a that's a big box right there. Four seventy nine for that multi grain stuff here. Two twenty nine for this. That doesn't look bad at all. Gluten it's gluten free. Whatever that is. <laughs> Yellow corn chips, two ninety nine. Here's some chips for corn chips, two oh nine. And here's some other ones. Big dippers right there, all crumbly, but two dollars and nineteen cents in restaurant style Clancy's. This is two oh nine. Two oh nine. The salsa is two nineteen. Can you imagine that? This is two nineteen for this big thing of salsa. Two nineteen for all this stuff. And here's some small batch salsa. Salsa, restaurant style. Two forty nine. Thick and chunky. Two sixty five. All these prices aren't bad. Here's your queso, a buck ninety nine. Holy cow! I was trying to find some yellow mustard in here because I know that they have yellow mustard from Europe and, and they don't have it here, but 95 cents for the regular and the spicy mustard here is $1.25. Spicy mustard, a buck twenty-five. I think that's a bargain right there. I was trying to find it. These little things of honey, $3.89, $5.49 for that clover. That's a little pricey. This is a little pricey, $6.50 for the Florida. I saw better at uh, Costco. Of course you're at Costco. And here's some here's some honey, $7.50. A little pricey. You can get five pounds of Argentine honey for I think $15. A little pricey for the honey, but you know, you're at Aldi, it's just a grab and go kind of store. And the ketchup is $1.85. A dollar eighty-five for the ketchup. You can't beat that. There's no way. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, on! Well, that's going to wrap up the shopping tour in the shopping hall of all the else we really got were the uh, banana peppers and the, uh, my wife finally came in, the banana peppers, the bread, and the uh, and the blackberries. I, I saw a lot of good prices in there. I was pretty happy with Aldi. I'll be coming back, that's for sure. So I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.